Hello. So continuing with the bolt preload, um, I'm going to do a bolt preload but using 2D elements. So I'm going to create a new part. I'm going to insert the same geometry as the last analysis. Again, I'm going to, rather than splitting the bodies, I'm now going to divide faces. So I want to put a couple of dating planes in of where I want to split. And then I'm going to create a mid plane. That one, that one. Okay. So I am going to divide the faces. Of these surfaces. And we end up with. Divide your faces again. I'm going to divide corner to corner, and I'm going to divide these faces using these curves like so. So we've we've ended up with the same geometry. What is surfaces? I'm going to switch into advanced simulation and create a new finite element model and I just want to import the visible surfaces. Okay. Now I'm going to do a mapped mesh to ensure that I've got it exported to solver and I'm going to go and pick these surfaces And I'm going to do the same here. Stick it into the same folder, just the same thickness. And I end up with these shell elements. do is I'm going to create a physical property and say that those are 5 mil thick and I'm going to make them steel okay I want to create some I'm just going to hide the coordinate system again and I'm going to create some rigid elements RB2 elements 0.2 inch Pick the midpoint and then go and pick these edges. Okay. I'm going to do the same for the bottom elements. And then I'm going to create a beam element node to node. I'm going to pick that node and that node. Okay. So I end up with, I'll just put that into the same folder, delete that, I end up with my beam element. I'll hide the points, I need to go and create a 1D section again, 10 millimeters, and I need to apply that to the beam, and I'll make that steel again. We can switch the cross sections on. If we look at 1D, we can change them into a solid. And we can do the same thing again to ensure the 2D elements are correct. We can switch those on. We're going to switch those off. So rather than in the previous analysis, uh, setting up regions in the simulation 
I'm going to create some linear contact elements here. So I'm going to go and I'm going to set up node to node and I'm going to use a gap element. So I'm going to go and pick these nodes on this face and I'm going to go and pick these nodes on that face. And I'm going to set the method to proximity. So we have now got a set of contact elements between those two faces. We need to go and edit that element. And what I'm going to do is say that the gap, the, the stiffness for the closed gap, is a large number. Okay, and then that makes them incompressible. Save. So once again, that's our analysis, our finite element model done. So in part two, I will run the simulation again.